Hey everyone, there's that old expression, third time's a charm, but it's not always true, is it? As Theresa May found out this week after her third attempt at passing her deal in inverted commas, achieved about the same level of success as someone heading into a pub claiming that they're only going to stay for one. The Prime Minister would actually discuss having a fourth go at it, and it's almost become like watching someone repeatedly failing to give up smoking or learn a foreign language. I wonder if Theresa has a copy of the novel Finnegan's Wake on a shelf, waiting to be started for the sixth or seventh time after she leaves office. Anyway, the problem with Mrs May is that you're increasingly unsure whether she knows that she's trying to sell a terrible deal that achieves nothing, or whether she actually believes the lies and spin it her staff repeat to her, like some kind of weird cult where everyone wears bracelets with the words strong and stable etched on them. The most telling part of the whole vote at Westminster was that its defeat was celebrated as much by Brexiteers as Remainers. At this stage, no one really has a clue what will happen, though in the real business world, no one seems to care. Unemployment's up and the scare stories being put out by number 10 seem about as believable now as a Scooby-Doo story set down at the old abandoned amusement arcade. Personally, I'm inclined to think that the EU will tell London to sling its hook and that Remain supporting Theresa will have, in the end, unwittingly delivered a WTO rules Brexit that for people like me who have devoted decades to the cause will be quite a surprise. And it's pretty hard to surprise me these days. What, there's a toy inside the Kinder Egg? whoop de doo what a surprise. Anyway, in the meantime, we can only play the waiting game and possibly await a general election this summer involving yet more deselections, party splitting and the swingometer being replaced by some kind of strange four-dimensional thing. Still, whatever happens, at least we'll be discussing policy and the viewpoints of the candidates rather than Ed Miliband eating a bacon sandwich or the David Cameron story that also by happenstance featured a pig. Ah, happy days. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.